Gasso Cast Rewind Week, and we're back with another classic video. But in this video, we're actually teaching you something. We're educating your ass. It was Heather's idea to come up with this one. So one thing that I actually did not realize until like we were actually recording, like sitting here and recording, is that the Deco paint pen that I purchased was acrylic and you don't wanna use acrylic, you always wanna use oil-based paint pens. Now, I do have to say that since we made this video, I have purchased Deco, and it has been their oil-based. They dry very fast. Mm. They are incredibly comparable to who we crown our winner, and I would choose them as well as my favorite brand in this video as well. They are incredibly good, so I do highly recommend Deco oil-based paint pens, not acrylic. So let Heather educate you on paint pens for your next signature. Check it out for the Gasol Cash Rewind. So one of the most asked questions that Heather and I receive, what type of marker do we use when we're getting autographs? In the very beginning, we relied on just walking up to celebrity tables and then just saying, hey, sign this without realizing that most of them would use Sharpies. And these days it seems like most celebrities have some sort of paint pen at their table, but I find it really helpful to pick my own paint pen prime it before I go and take it just to make sure it works, it's the color I want, and it's a good quality pen. In this video, we are going to experiment right here with a bunch of different paint pens that I purchased, as well as give you a couple other tips to help you to get your Funko Pops autographed. Before we get started and experiment with all of these different pens, we want to give you two examples of Funko Pops we've gotten autographed. One that's awesome and one that sucks. So we have two signed Fungo Pops here. One is the Optimus Prime from Seven Bucks a Pop Signature Series. As you can see, it's signed with the red paint pen. And then the Jason Voorhees is signed by Steve Dash, and it's signed with Sharpie. Look how different these two autographs look. At the end of the day, you want your autograph to really stand out. And with this particular one, it doesn't stand out at all. It's too translucent, and you can hardly see it from a distance. This is the perfect time to tell you to head over to Seven Bucks a Pop every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern for our new signature series, Fungo Pop, just like this Optimus Prime, signed by Peter Cullen. They have somebody new every week, and it's awesome. Do not use Sharpie markers. They are the worst. They do not look good. Paint pens are the way to go. Just to be clear, we do have a Sharpie paint pen here, and these are what we typically use just because they're available in most stores, and if we're on a time crunch, we can run to the store and pick one of these up, but we're gonna see how it holds up to the rest of these markers, and honestly, I'm really, really excited to do this because I've only compared it to one other type. Exactly. The paint pen Sharpie is what you want. The permanent marker Sharpie, you know, those old school black Sharpies, that's what you don't want. As Heather has already mentioned, you don't want to rely on the celebrity's table. You want to bring your own selection of markers. And typically, when we go, we bring at least five to six different markers, different color variations for the Funko Pops that we're going to get signed. Because in the last moments, you might realize that green's going to show up and look a lot better on that Funko Pop than maybe the silver. So it's always good to go packing, and it's always good also to ask the celebrity for the marker back, because a lot of the time you end up losing them to the celebrity because you're in awe, talking, and hanging out, and you completely forget you left that red Sharpie paint pen. Yeah, I left a red and a yellow on a celebrity's table at the last con we went to. For this video, we're just gonna use red paint pens because I feel like that's a very universal sort of color, and it makes it easier for us to compare and contrast each each pen itself, each brand. So this is a Deco Color acrylic paint marker. So I purchased this from Amazon, but they also do carry them at Michael's. Here's a Sharpie, and you can find these just about anywhere. I got this one at Michael's, and it is an oil-based paint pen. We have some paint pens that are water-based from Posca. Aside from Sharpies, people typically give these good reviews. Which is bizarre because you always hear people saying that oil-based are the way to go, and these only come in water-based. Here's an oil base from Craftsmart, and you can buy this brand at Michael's. Heather bought these on Amazon. They're from T5, and they're oil-based paint pens. I purchased these and the one I'm about to show you because they came up at the very like beginning of the search results when I searched for red oil-based paint pen on Amazon. So I figured those are good choices just because they're at the top of the list. Absolutely. 
And this one is an oil-based paint marker by Overseas. So one thing you need to know about paint pens, if you've never actually held one, you have to shake them up in order to get them to work. You sort of have to push down the head of the marker in order for all of the ink, I guess, or the paint to actually get down to the tip. That is called priming your paint pens. And before you go, I highly recommend priming your paint pens. Nothing would be worse than if you're standing in front of this person that you've idolized forever and you're just like, hey, can I get your autograph? Um, hold on a second. Let me, let me get this thing to work. Yeah, because sometimes it does take a while for the paint to reach the tip of the pen. Okay, let's prime these bad boys. We got a whole lot of stuff yeah, down here. Yeah, not like any of that matters. I guess we'll find out when we actually put uh, the pen on the pops. All right, so typically when you're getting your Funko Pop signed, you're getting it on the window. And there's a couple things we're gonna do with each paint pen. First, we're gonna see what the dry time is like. So what's gonna happen now is Chris is going to draw a line right here. After five seconds, he's gonna wipe his finger on it. After 15 seconds, he's gonna wipe his finger on it. After 25 seconds, he'll wipe his finger on it. After 35 seconds, he'll wipe his finger on it. And after 45 seconds, he'll wipe his finger on it. If they take any longer than that to dry, then we're obviously going to have to make a second line and then just restart from the beginning. But I'm thinking 45 seconds is a decent amount to start off with. All right, so we're starting off with our T5 paint pen. I'm gonna draw a line on the side here. I'm starting the timer, five. I smeared pretty good. 15. It's smeared, but not as bad as the first time. 25. It's smeared almost equally as much as it did the time before it. 35. Okay, very minimal smear that time. 45. And that one didn't really smear at all. It took 60 seconds for it to completely dry, and that was with the T5 paint pen from Amazon. Up here is where it's smeared. And as you can see, it smears less and less as time goes on. Yeah, wipe that Funko Pop, baby. Yeah, I like how you're wiping it. Okay, don't be weird. That's hot, yup. So all I'm doing to remove this is just taking an alcohol pad. Isn't that scary? That is virtually between an, like a little bit of alcohol that can take off that entire autograph that you just spent like hundreds of dollars on. Yeah. So the next pen is gonna be the Uni Posca pen. Okay, and this one is one of the water-based pens. Here we go with our line. Five. Ooh. Oh man, it wiped off the entire thing. Holy oh crap. Oh my gosh. 15. Oh my uh, goodness. 25. Wow. 35. That's not as smeary as the time before it. 45. Okay, that's a lot less. Now we're going to 60, 60. So at 60, they're still smearing. Really? It's actually still coming up when my figure goes across it. Okay, well let's do another line over here. We'll start at 60. That was really interesting that it wiped off as fast as it did. That's really scary because when you're at cons and you're fumbling around a little bit, it's really easy to like glide your fingers across it. Yeah. You could easily wipe off the entire autograph before you walk away from the table if you screw up enough. Typically when we're at cons, we fold the boxes up and carry them in that way. But once we get them signed, we sort of like flap them around a little bit and wave them. All right, we're at a minute. Nothing. It's still like, you can see where I've like rubbed it. Is it like tacky? I don't even know if I could say tacky. It just looks like when I'm rubbing it, it just has a couple of like grazes in it or something. 130 go. Yeah, I think that's as best as it's going to get. You rub your finger through this. It, it's almost like the oils in your finger is coming off on it. Interesting. Okay, so here's the timeline for this one. Obviously, this is where we started, and then this is where we continued. A minute for it to try, I mean, that's not bad, but like the amount that it smeared within five seconds, 10, 15, is way different than what we saw with the first. So this Posca pen was reviewed highly by a lot of our friends and people who get their Funko Pop signed, but I gotta tell you, I would not take this pen with me to a con after what I just saw. 
depending on what we see might determine my feelings for it because yes, it's very inconvenient to have to like make sure you're not bumping into anything for a, at least a full minute and 30 seconds. If it looks better than what I'm used to using, I would consider taking it. And this paint pen is from Deco Color. Where did this come from? So I got that on Amazon, but you can get them at Michael's. We're gonna draw our line on here. Okay. Five. Ooh, okay. 15. Wow, that's all coming off. Just like the last pen. 25. Okay, now it's a lot more dry. Now it's a lot more dry. Would you say it's dry? I would say it's practically dry at this point, but go keep going. 35. Yeah, it's in good shape. This one only took 35 seconds to dry. But at first, it came off really easy. So as you can see up here, at about five seconds, it came off really easily. But after that, at about 35 seconds or so, it was permanent. Yeah, so that's nice. What I'm looking for realistically, I want something to look good, but I also want something to dry quick. Because when you're at a con, you don't have time to fumble around with this and stand out there waving the thing, hoping that it's gonna dry soon. A whole minute's crazy. It really is, especially when you're surrounded by so many people and you can't control the people around you. So if someone like bumps into you on accident or right. whatever, that's like a whole problem. All right, so the next pen is a Craft Smart. Okay, and that one's an oil-based. And this one came from Michael's. Michael's. Yeah, I think, I think it's their brand. All right, so we're gonna draw our line on here. Five. That's dry. A little bit came off. A little tiny bit, but it's pretty dry. 15. It's a little tiny bit smeary right now. All right, so at the 25, 25 mark, it's perfect. This one did really well. I'm actually pretty, I thought the fact that it was like uh, Michael's brand, it was gonna suck, like it was gonna be cheap. But as you can see at the very top there, that line was a little bit smeared. But by the end, I was able to rub the line and nothing happened. All right, so the next marker is a Sharpie paint pen. And this is what Heather and I typically use on a regular basis. So I'm excited to see how this one actually holds up. I don't know how long it takes for it to dry. All I know is that I'm walking around the con fanning the thing. We're extra cautious when it comes to spending big bucks on autographs. And by looking at it, by the way, the Sharpie looks really good in comparison to the others. Wow. Smeary. Yes, very smeary at the very beginning. I'm shocked. 15. Still smeary at 15. 25. Okay, it's pretty dry right now. A little tiny bit smeared. 35. That's great. So by 35 seconds, it's dry. So here's the Sharpie line. Obviously, the top is five seconds onward. And you can see some smearing at five seconds and 15 seconds, but it's I mean, it's pretty good by 25. I don't think you'll be able to see anything in the camera, but I can see a touch of smearing at 25 seconds, but nothing at all at 35. So that's a really good one. One of the big reasons why we're making this video is to tell you which one of these pens are the best, but there are two different ways to qualify which one's the best. How long does it take it to dry? Because I think that's very important. Oh yeah. But realistically, how it looks. I think everybody's gonna be more concerned about how it looks, but drying for me is very important. Yeah, dr drying does play a huge role in this. However, I feel like a step above that is how it looks for me. Like if one of them looks better than the other, but it takes a minute to dry versus 30 seconds to dry, I would just make sure that I stand off in my little corner and I'm extra super duper careful. So the next pen we're gonna do is the paint pen from overseas. As you can tell from the, both of these pens, they're exactly the same pen, but they have a different company name on them. I'm assuming that they're owned by the same company and they're just released with different brand names on them. I, I don't know why they're so similar. Like it's kind of silly, right? I don't know what's going on with the pens, but we're gonna to tell you which one is the best i believe they're going to be the same they probably will be make sure you have the overseas one yes this is the overseas okay, one here we go ready? with our line ready it's a nice line Five. too oh wow there we go okay 15 all right a little less smeary on 15 25 less smeary on 25 seconds 35 even at 35 seconds we're getting smear 45 all right, 45, I'm getting smear, but not as much. 60. So at 60, there's still a little tiny bit of smear. So we're gonna do another line and we're gonna see how it looks in comparison at 60 seconds moving forward. So here's our next line, minute. So not that smeary actually. Let's see what we look like at a minute 15. 15. 
All right, so at 50, at a minute 15, no more smearing. At about a minute, it was smearing just a little tiny bit, but by a minute 15, it wasn't smearing at all. So that's great. That is great. Before we get to the results of how long it took for each one of these paint pens to dry, now we want to autograph each one of these Fungo Pops with our very own autograph to see which one looks better. This vision is going to be signed by both Overseas and Craftsmart. Ashley 2 is going to be signed by the Sharpie and Deco Color. And Selena Kyle will be signed with the Uniposca and the T5 paint pen. So in this Vision Fungo Pop, we featured Overseas and Craftsmart. Now, Heather did not like the Overseas. No, I did not. And I'm not sure if it will be very visible on camera. I noticed as I was signing it, the color wasn't consistent. It was almost like sort of watered down, maybe, if that makes sense. And it was thicker and more opaque in some places and a little more translucent in other places. We're just going to rip this Overseas one off because we're going to put these up against each other. We're going to go head to head with these markers and see which one we think is the best at the end of this. So, so far, Craft Smart is on top. All right, so this Ashley 2 actually has the worst marker of this lineup in terms of looks. I accidentally wrote them upside down as I was making my little post it note, so forgive me, but Sharpie's at the top and Deco Color is at the bottom. So, the Sharpie one looks fantastic, and that's typically what we use. Something that we noticed about the Deco pen is that it gets very ugly. And Heather actually drew a heart on the side to kind of give you an idea of that. You can see it. It looks very, very messy. This Deco paint pen is, is absolute garbage. Yeah, so what I noticed is that it almost like, I don't even know what you it would like call it. It like explodes. Yeah, it almost has bubbles in it or something. It beads up maybe? Is that a better way to say it? Yeah, and then as I was signing this heart on the side, those little inconsistencies, they moved up. Almost like if you were dip a paper towel into water, the marker was like climbing up the paper towel. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, that heart looks really ugly. It has like jagged edges on it. It's like it's stretched out. Like, yeah. like almost like the ink couldn't formulate or something. Like it just started separating. Okay, so let's take deco off and let's just like get yeah, rid of this forever. That's the worst. Like I don't, I don't even want to see this ever again. So our last one is the Posca and the T5 pens. As we mentioned before, the T5 and the Overseas are pretty much exactly the same pen, and we got pretty much exactly the same results. Heather, you did not like the T5, and you did not like the Overseas. No, I felt like what I said earlier best describes it. It's opaque in some places, but then more translucent in others. I'm not a huge fan of the T5 or the Overseas, but they don't look so horrible that I would not use them if I had to. If this pen was at the bottom of my bag at a con, I most likely would use it, but it would not be my choice to use. The Posca, on the other hand, looks very good, but one thing that separates the Posca from some of the other pens is that it has a lighter color to it. All right, so the Craft Smart, if you look at this closely, it has the same issue that the Overseas and T, whatever that was. T5. T5 pens had. Parts of it, are almost translucent. So it's hard to see, but it's a little translucent in certain areas on that bottom signature, especially Heather's. It just doesn't look that great in comparison to the two of these. Yeah, I fully agree with that. Statement. It's kind of an inconsistent ink or paint. So we're left with Posca and Sharpie. And that's kind of funny because everybody carries on about how great Posca is, and we carry on about how great Sharpie is. And like we said earlier, we haven't actually sat down and really, really took a good look at paint pens and compared them. However, a few years back, we had a friend give us something to sign at a convention. So we got something signed by one celebrity and we took something of our friends to get signed by that same celebrity. They gave us a Craft Smart pen to get signed with and we got our item signed with a Sharpie. A huge thing that I noticed about the Craft Smart and we didn't see it here today, which I'm very happy about. I don't know if they've updated their formula or if it was just sort of maybe like a crappy pen, but I noticed something very similar to what happened with the deco. It was almost oh. like it like looked like a spider web coming out of the signature. Oh, I see. It yeah. was bizarre. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to erase what's on this box. Okay. And then we're going to re-sign with the Posca and Sharpie and have them literally side by side. Okay. 
All right, so we're down to the last two pens. We have the Sharpie and the Posca. We noticed a couple of things when we were using these pens on the same exact box. We signed them, Heather did a little hearts. I did that on purpose because on a previous box with a previous pen, we saw a little bit of that exploding, kind of bleeding out. And believe it or not, one of these pens had a bleed out on it. And these are two of the final pens that we're reviewing. Kind of shocked by that. Signature, it looks fine, but in the little heart picture, it doesn't. The top is Sharpie. It looks great, it's dark, it's a darker red. The Posca is at the bottom and it's a lighter red. And that's one big thing to me that stands out is how light the Posca is and that makes me dislike it and it keeps Sharpie king in my book. Well, what else keeps Sharpie king? Well, the other thing that keeps Sharpie king is that if you look at these hearts, the top is the Sharpie, the bottom is the Posca and the Posca heart is sort of having a blowout look to it. It has those spider webs kind of coming off of it it doesn't look all that great in comparison to the Sharpie Heart at the very top. All right, so the Sharpie paint pen reigns supreme in this household. That's the only paint pen I'm gonna use if I get autographs done now. Well, hold on. So let's talk about the timing. Sharpie looked the best, but it did not have the best time, although it didn't take very long for it to dry. So the winner, as far as it drying quickly goes, was Craft Smart at 25 seconds. It was wow. completely dry at 25 seconds. Second place, we had a tie between Deco and Sharpie, which was at 35 seconds. So that's not bad. That's really not bad bad timing honestly. The deco looks like shit, and the sharpie looked great. Third place was T5 at 60 seconds. Fourth place was overseas at 1 minute and 15 seconds. Which is interesting because they're pretty much the same exact pen. Yeah it was sort of bizarre. I wasn't expecting those results. In fifth place was Posca at 1 minute and 30 seconds. So it took a long time for that Posca to dry. Yeah. So sharpie doesn't have that bad of a time to dry and it looks fantastic on the pop. It absolutely does. It comes in so many colors. They're very affordable. You can find them at so many different places. You can find them on Amazon, at Target, at Michaels, at Walmart. There's so many different places you can buy them. So now that that's out of the way, I wanted to give you a really awesome tip on how to choose what color to get your pop signed with. So I have this 50s vision in a standard pop protector. It's just a soft protector. So what I do is I choose a few colors that I think I might like on that pop and then I just do a quick little signature and see how it looks in comparison to the pop. So you draw this directly onto the protector. Yes, I draw it onto the protector, not the pop, but realistically, what we learned about that, all it takes is a little alcohol swab and it can go away, but I don't like to take that risk. I'd rather do it directly on the protector. Yeah, because the last thing you wanna do is discolor the plastic somehow with one of these paint pens. Or accidentally get it on the cardboard. That's a great tip, Heather. I never actually thought about that. I had no idea this is what you've been doing. So Heather signed this Funko Pop Protector with Sharpie paint pens because that's what we have the most of because we absolutely love them. We highly recommend them. Sharpie paint pens are what you want to buy. So head out and buy them now. Get ready for that next autograph at the next con. And if you purchase them from Michaels, go onto Google and search Michaels coupons. On the Michaels website, they actually typically have like a 20% off your regular price purchase. So if Sharpie paint pens aren't on sale, you can at least get 20% off of them with that coupon as long as Michaels has it. Another question that gets asked very often is how do you carry your pops throughout the con safely? If you have just one or two pops, it's not a huge deal to take them as is in a soft or hard protector. And the way we typically carry them around is Chris has a hard shelled backpack. So even if someone were to bump into it or whatever, it's safe. But if you're carrying more than one or two fungo pops, you're gonna wanna find a better way to take your boxes with you. And we found that way through some friends. We actually met somebody who did this little trick. So what you do, is you take your Funko Pop boxes. You very carefully pull the pops out of the box. And you fold them like so. And then what you're gonna wanna do is find a box large enough to fit these pops in them. We have a 10 by eight by six and I found this to be a really, really good size. So all that I do is I lift it open and you do have to make sure that these flaps don't get caught or don't bend. So you carefully put the, the pop boxes inside of the box and make sure there's nothing sticking out that they're all tucked away. 
and we typically just tape in four places. So what I did was I taped this with just scotch tape, but I highly recommend painter's tape because the scotch tape's adhesive will sort of wear off and scotch tape is really flimsy. I found that painter's tape really stays put and stays sticky. So if you're meeting like 10 celebrities, you can easily remove it and then put it back on with no issue. That way you can pull your boxes in and out after you get your autographs, store them away for the rest of the con and carry them in your backpack or underneath your arm. We want to know what you think about all the tips and tricks she gave you. Also, we'd like to know what you think about our pen test. Let us know all that and more in the comment section down below.